Hey there everybody, how the devil are you? It's Jamie here and a very warm welcome to you all to Travel Blog Jamie. I am super, super excited because I'm boarding Caribbean Princess in Smedial, Southampton, UK, heading in search of those northern lights. Yes, I'm going to the Arctic Circle, like you do. And guess what? You are all gonna come along with me for the whole two week journey, really. Come on, let's do this! Coming up in this series, we're heading to the Arctic Circle. I'll be reviewing every meal on board Caribbean Princess, including casual, speciality dining, and room service. I'll be talking about what's included in my cruise fare, an in-depth look at what you can get up to during a sea day, sporting, singing, shopping, gambling, lecturing, even a little line dancing. I clear up any misconceptions about dress code, our first port of call, Trondheim, and I go on a cycling adventure. Of course, we are in search of the Northern Lights, and that's exactly what I do. Beautiful sunsets as we head further north, excitement as we enter the Arctic Circle, and emotions. Our port of Alta is cancelled due to a significant storm, so it's three days in beautiful Tromso. Mountains, a polar museum, Arctic Cathedral, the snow arrives, a great visit to the ice bar, the hilarious Troll Museum, unforgettable late night visit to a husky centre, and dinner in a tent back on board and a little bit of camp. Some of the locals entertain us. We experience violent winds that tear us away from our berth in Tromso. The party atmosphere on board Caribbean Princess, a real low point in the cruise with a totally wasted day and absolutely horrendous service. Randomly, my first ever Bloody Mary. More windy conditions and some choppy seas. A wonderful day in Allison, including a lot of walking, a very memorable visit to the Atlantic Sea Life Center. And finally, what we all want to know, was this a cruise of a lifetime. I'll give you the lowdown before heading home to see my beautiful baby. It's embarkation day. I've got my large level 8 case packed, saying goodbye to my babies and ready to roll. Bye flat, see you in two weeks. And just look at where we'll be heading together my darlings, you're not gonna want to miss this. I don't live far from Southampton, so train it is. And then a 10 minute taxi ride from Southampton and we're there. Welcome to Ocean Cruise Terminal. And there she is, folks, my chariot for the next two weeks. Caribbean Princess, or should I say Caribbean? I believe that is a nightclub up there. I might have to head into that at some point. Couldn't download my luggage label at home, so I'm collecting one from the cruise terminal. Time to drop off the suitcase, we'll next see it outside our cabin. And into the terminal we go. I completed my check-in using the Princess app, so at the cruise terminal, it should be a simple case of showing a passport and collecting your medallion. You're gonna use your medallion to access the ship, your cabin, make purchases, and also you can access these really funky little interactive features on the screens around the ship as well. Our next job, security. Time at the cruise terminal can vary greatly. Today, it took me 35 minutes. Yes, I always film my feet on boarding. On your Princess app, you'll be prompted to complete your safety essentials. Just click on watch safety video, watch the video, and then all that remains is to go to your assembly station. This is where you would go in the event of an emergency. You'll be able to find out the location of your muster station using your app. Mine is located in the theatre and you quite simply zap in with a member of crew. Alrighty, before we explore, here's a few facts about Caribbean Princess. And did you know, Princess Cruises have 16 cruise ships in their fleet with a 17th on its way. Caribbean Princess is the last of the Grand Class ships and carries more passengers than any of the others. It was only surpassed in passenger numbers once the Royal Class ships were launched. If you'd like to see a full ship tour, don't you worry, I've got you covered already. Just search Travel Blog Jamie Caribbean Princess Ship Tour. Well, unfortunately, my Princess Plus package is not appearing on my account, so I can't access Wi Fi, I can't buy any drinks. So I now have to join this very long line for guest services. The lovely crew have not been able to resolve my issue yet and will give me a ring later. I don't know if this bodes well or not for what's coming. My elite loyalty status wasn't recognized on check-in. Fortunately, the lovely supervisor at guest services was able to rectify this for me and I'm back to black. 
it was definitely an inconvenience and a little stressful knowing that nobody on the ship had any record of me having purchased the Princess Plus package for £700 for the duration of my voyage. This package includes up to 15 alcoholic beverages per day, up to and including $15. All your sodas, hot drinks, and juices from the juice bar, unlimited internet access, daily crew appreciation fees, two premium desserts per day, no trade charges for room service, a range of fitness classes, use of the medallion net to have food and beverages delivered to you wherever you are on the ship, and two visits to casual dining restaurants. For me, this package more than suffices, but you can actually get more from the Princess Premier package. Namely, on the Wi-Fi package, you can have four devices per person, enjoy unlimited alcoholic beverages up to and including $20, unlimited premium desserts, unlimited fitness classes, unlimited speciality dining, a photo package, prizes enrollment, and also reserved theater seating. Best thing to do in an emergency, head to International Cafe. So International Cafe is open 24 seven folks and all the food here is included in your cruise fare. Honestly, I could eat a shaggy dog's tail right now. Okay, staterooms are now ready. Never been in an inside cabin for 14 nights before. So our deck is actually deck 14, quite some way up. And my cabin is located far, far forward and port side to the left. They call him Mellow. Sorry, that is me. I'm too nervous to go in. Oh, I'm so scared. Oh, <laughs> it's not too bad, actually. Right, here's a quick peep for you lot. And of course I'll do a full cabin tour and review. Look, I've almost got like an, an archway here. Oh, is that automated? Automatic lighting. Hello. Oh, you got a walk-in wardrobe here, folks. I've had this set out as a twin room because I wanted a bit more floor space. And I think I've got that actually. This doesn't look too bad, does it? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not laughing at the bottom, really. I kind of like these tiles. I'm sorry, I know it's quite trad, isn't it? It's the Caribbean, so we got some blue there. Okay, it's very much like I expected. Uh, I've seen these before, that's for sure. It's fine, you're gonna get mm, one and three quarter people in there. For a full tour and review of this cabin, just search Travel Blog Jamie Caribbean Princess two weeks in an inside cabin. It certainly didn't go to plan. All right, let's get outside and watch Sail Away. I believe we're about to leave any second. All right, one good thing about being on our deck, Deck 14, is should have direct access outside. Oh my God, we're already on the move. See ya, smelly old Southampton. Oh my goodness, look at the Skywalkers, the nightclub. That is... Uh, kind of cool and disturbing at the same time. Well, this is Skywalkers. <laughs> it has its own um, moving walkway. Apparently an elite event. Will they let me in though? Welcome to Skywalkers. Well, right now it's been set up for uh, those people who are elite and platinum uh, members. Well, look at this. Very nice indeed. Well, that will do me nicely. Thank you very much. Cheeky little vodka soda and fresh lime that i tell you now folks i'm not paying for should be on my package oh this looks nice place your bets on how cold or warm the pool water will be okay that is cold i hope they're gonna warm that one up i mean it's a really good size pool come on folks let's get that heating on eh feels like quite a good amount of space out on deck folks Oh, that one's chilly as well. This is not boding well. Come on, princess, sort yourselves out. I swear the sparkle. Alas, this one is also very chilly. Well, I've been a little bit cheeky. I've gone up to one of the deck attendants and someone who looks quite official and formal and said, are you gonna heat your pools this week? You've got so many beautiful spaces and pools and they're freezing. He said, just wait till tomorrow, sir. I will put them to the test. You know I will. I found Princess Pizza. Yes, it's so good. Oh my goodness me, I could live here. It's time to unpack. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's weird, isn't it? You know what makes packing and unpacking easier? 
packing cubes. Oh, and by the way, these are my pajamas. <laughs> Now, one great thing about American Cruise Lines, in my humble opinion, is that some of the passengers really do take advantage of the fact that the doors are magnetised. I've seen all sorts of weird and wonderful magnetic signs up on doors over the years. I have finally succumbed and bought my own. Are you ready? Here's my door. <laughs> yes, shameless promotion as well. Awesome. It's the patter. Oh yes, every cruise ship has its own cruise news. This is your program of events. All the opening and closing times of shops and bars and restaurants, arrival and departure times into port, dress code, my favorite thing, recommendations, reminders. It's all here in the pattern. And look at this folks, the very first patter that you'll receive in your cabin will have this very helpful grid, which tells you um, which ports you're in, which day, the dress code and all the times as well. May I recommend you take a picture of that on your phone? You know it makes sense. Right, let's head out and about. You are absolutely welcome to service the stateroom. Look at these huge screens dotted around the ship with um, information about what's on and the times you can actually scroll as well. Oh look, it feels like we're sailing. All right, it feels like there's always gonna be something taking place in the piazza here. Look at you two go, you're awesome. I love you. Welcome to bar number one, Crooners. Okay, so I'm on the Princess Plus package. Well, I should be, it's still not working, uh, which means I can have any alcoholic drinks uh, or soft drinks indeed, up to and including $15. Anything that costs extra, you just pay the difference, which I think is brilliant. Also be aware, they do sometimes put uh, simple syrup, sugar syrup in cocktails, without labeling it as such. So if you don't want sugar syrup, like myself, I can't have that, then do double check. So you'll have already noticed a lot of alcoholic beverages are actually included in the Princess Plus package, which is fabulous. Your beers, ciders, hard seltzers, some examples of the drinks included in the Princess Premier package. You know I'm gonna start with an espresso martini. You just know it. Cheers, my darlings. Here's to hopefully a really outstanding two-week cruise. Yeah, that's a good one. Not sweet at all. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Yeah, he's great. <laughs> uh, Crooners, it's a classic. Princess favorite, it really is. The only problem with this one, sorry, is it's right behind the casino and people are allowed to smoke in that section of the casino. So it's actually very strong smell. So if you don't like the smell of smoke, uh, this might not be the place for you. So I'm not sure I'll be spending much time here. Sorry. This is such a dinky crooners compared to what I'm used to. I mean, it's cute. It has a pianist, fabulous. Pia, Pia, Piendo. I always get the wrong brand. I know you'll ask me, and I also know I'll forget the name. Whoops. Pizza Life. It's all happening in Explorers. And look at this. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anything like on a ship. Music quiz in Explorers. Welcome, everybody. Oh, I think I'll be sitting up at that bar at some point over the next fortnight. I say that, this wheelhouse bar looks really cute. I like it. Oh, look at all this dark wood, tiles. My kind of place, actually. Dark and brooding, just like me. Some of the crew speak Spanish in here as well. I've just heard them. I'm coming back. And here I am at the buffet. I think this is called the Marketplace from memory. I'm totally all over this live pasta station. And because I love you all so much, I'm going to rate every plate on this two-week cruise using this very handy in-food graphic. I am indeed. Some more? Oh yes, please. <laughs> thank you. Some cheese here. Fab, thank you. I promise you I'll show you the buffet in glorious Technicolor at some point. I'm just um, diving right on in there, folks, with the pasta, simple uh, garlic and olive oil, with, of course, lashings of chili and cheese. And a chicken and lentil soup. I had to go back for more veggie noodles and a spring roll. Right, well, I've just popped to a few of the specialty dining venues and booked my place. 
yes. I've got the Crown Grill, I've got Planks Barbecue. I didn't even know anything about that. Sabatini's as well for Italian. It's gonna be awesome. There is no way I can walk on by my stateroom by accident. No. <laughs> and I've had a turn down. Oh, did you see that? Is that an emergency light? Is that to help me? Oh my goodness me, look at this. Maybe this cabin, this stateroom is haunted. It might be. Oh, he's put me comfies out. That's nice, smoothed down. A reminder about setting clocks one hour forward. Oh my God, they're already stealing time from us. We've got tomorrow's patter some information about a short excursion I booked and some ideas for other short excursions. Oh yes, look at these sexy PJs. Mm -mm. Well, I am cream crackered. It's been a very busy week for me, for one reason or another. And I fancy a lime. It's our first full sea day. I fancy breakfast uh, in bed. What time should we go for? Oh, look, you can go up to 10 to 10 30 a.m. Tempted. Do, 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 do. Lemon. Beverage. Oh, they don't do Bloody Mary. What a shame, eh? Uh, okay, then I'll just go with coffee. Thank you very much. Do me proud. Mwah. I think I'd like a little bit of that, actually. Some of you out there do wonder whether it would be too claustrophobic in an inside cabin. So I thought I'd show you what it looks like from the bed, here's the angle. I mean, I don't think it's too bad, personally. I don't get claustrophobic in this. But will I be going stir crazy after 14 nights? Before I turn down for the night, I wanna remind you that I absolutely love you, and you, and you, and you. I don't really love you. Good night. Mwah. Oh, good morning everybody and welcome to our first sea day. Quick check of the map and my goodness, we really are steaming. Look how far we are already. Oh, there's somebody at the door. Mm -mm, there's somebody at the door. I saw the crew member looking at these. Jealous. A few breakfast items for me and oh my goodness, thank you for Life Force. Princess Life Force. Health, 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 darlings and a warmed up princess pizza muffin, one of my all time favorites. For those of you in an inside cabin, like my good self, don't forget, you have a bridge cam channel on your television so you can see what's going on outside. Now the color of this television is not very helpful in indicating what the weather is like. Is it sunny? Is it not? I can't quite tell. All right, let's get out and about. Okay, well, we have got a little bit of sunshine. Too cold though, it's all right. Well, it looks like the issue with Princess Plus packages not being applied to account remains. Look at the line. That is a line for reception. Oh, the line for coffee? You for coffee? Okay, before I lose my patience, here's what you can get up to on a sea day assuming there are no lines. There's a food showcase in the piazza so you can have a look at some of the dishes you can expect to enjoy at speciality dining venues. Hemorrhage your money at the gallery. Pop choir. Sounds dodgy, doesn't it? Remember to drink lots of iced coffee, it's mandatory. Head to the florist and treat yourself to some flowers or maybe a loved one, eh? Go on. Speaking of shopping, you could probably kill a couple hours in the shops of Princess. That's right, the shops of Princess. Very imaginative. And if you have any money left, how about a flutter in the Grand Casino? For shows, events, films and lectures, there's the Princess Theatre. On our cruise, there are also port talks. Don't forget promenade deck for the ultimate in relaxation and views. And this particular promenade goes all the way around the ship. So great for walking, maybe a little bit of jogging, but mostly best for relaxation in my humble opinion. Walk towards the front of the ship on promenade deck 
up the stairs and you'll reach Emerald Deck, Deck 8, and fantastic views from the very front of the ship, what I like to call the clamshell. I love this. This family brought their own musical instrument and dance on prom day. Oh, so cute. Go on, lady and gents. I love it. Everyone seems to always experience their cruise uniquely, the power of travel. And there's plenty of opportunities on board to think about your health, fitness and well-being. Obviously, I'm always to be found in the gymnasium. It's true, I'm taking up yoga soon. And then, of course, off to the spa and salon. And I've never seen one of these water playgrounds on board a ship before. I was totally mesmerized by this. And it's so interactive as well. So it really did hold my attention. And then there's the children's water park. Although I have to admit, there were a lot of adults wanting to use this, me included. There are, of course, a great number of pools and hot tubs on board. You've got the terrace pool, the splash pool, hot tubs all over the ship, some of which are really high up with great views. You've got Neptune's pool, Calypso pool, and the adults only lap pool. And the height of relaxation and at a surcharge is the sanctuary. Throw in a little bingo and quizzes and I think there's something for everyone. Right now, I need a drink and a swim. Right, terrace pool for me. And you know what? I never leave home without these. This is currently the only heated pool that I'll get in. <laughs> it's really nice. You see, princess can heat their pools if they want to alert straight in. <sighs> oh, the deeper the I thought. Hold on to your phone. <laughs> I saved it. <laughs> well, that was delightful. Middle of the North Sea. What a lush. When I first advertised that I would be taking this journey, many of you were like, we want to know what the sea conditions are like um, as you sail through the North Sea into the Arctic Circle and temperatures. Well, you can see what it's like. Uh, slight to moderate seas today. 15 degrees Celsius. Oh, signature thin crust, here I come. Good to know. Right, it is pizza time, thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank you. Nom nom nom. Best pizza at sea? Let's find out. I am still so torn between this and the pizza on MSC. It's bloody good though, it really is. Like, look at the blistered base. Mm. The topping as well, the tomato sauce, nice and sweet. Lovely mozzarella. Alrighty folks, it's formal night. We've got two on board this 14 night cruise. You might be saying, Jamie, you don't look that formal. You've not got a tie on. You would be correct. Formal night on Princess is encouraged. It's not enforced. And actually, I think I look bloody lovely. More importantly, I actually feel very comfortable in this and I'm gonna to need to. I'm heading to the Crown Grill later for my dinner and my goodness me, they feed you, feed you, feed you there. Alrighty, I am indeed ready for you. Let's do this. Push the Matthew, push the Matthew. Oh, I've just been handed a mimosa, thank you very much. Alrighty, I'm here for the captain's event. Capitan, Capitan, where should I go? Good evening to you all, and happy formal night. Ugh, formal night, lady. Welcome on board Caribbean Princess. Head of Caribbean Princess, your captain and mine, all the way from Croatia, please welcome Captain Oscar Folks, welcome to the Explorer's Lounge. I am settling in for a couple drinky poos. No pooing in your drinks. Cheers, everybody. And yes, I am winking at you. And what? I'm 
inadvertently take apart their quiz. That's the level of comedy you're gonna get from me, folks. Just remember that. Paws off me, you damn dirty ape. All right, the crew have made me a fabulous mojito without all the sugar. It's Get delicious. Thank you, crew. All righty, it is speciality dining time. I'm heading to the Crown Grill, which is the steakhouse on board Caribbean Princess. $45 per adult. Oh, it looks dark and brooding here, just like me. No, seriously, I actually love these dark colors. Look at this. Elegant, classic, traditional. Ooh, gorgeous, and it smells amazing. Oh, we got a live kitchen, love those. Right, I'm in, I'm well installed. <laughs> I'm very excited, I have to say that. And I'm very excited to be here at Crown Grill. I got a question for y'all. Is this the tallest wine list ever? Hmm, maybe the tallest I've ever had. Ooh, it's like the towering inferno, isn't it? Let's hope we don't go up in smoke though. Very bad jokes tonight, I'm so sorry. And of course, very importantly, what we're gonna eat. So you're gonna choose an appetizer, a soup and or salad, and then either your seafood, your chops, or your steaks. Your choice of sides, although you could have all of them if you really wanted to. And finally, a look at the desserts. I mean, this is an unholy amount, and I say that in the best possible taste. I'm sure someone famous said that once. Holy macaroni, look at this bread basket. That looks incredible. I think we've got focaccia here with some uh, parmesan. This looks like a massive bun filled with melted cheese and some garlic. Awesome. I always say the main dining rooms are busier on the first and second nights. So come to speciality dining for a calmer, quieter affair, not an actual affair. Ooh, shiny. This bread is so good. It makes me want to weep. Look at the size of this boule with fromage. That's crazy. I'm certain that's for four. I'll manage. That is to die for. I'm not gonna die, I hope, but it's amazing. I've gone with the Conundrum White, which is a blend of four different grapes. Yes. Uh, it's $16, so therefore I owe Princess $1, because me Princess Plus package takes me up to 15. Mm, that is such a good wine, and it's perfectly chilled as well. Take note, P&O, chill your white wines. I've gone with the black and blue onion soup. Essentially, it's um, French onion soup, only the cheese is blue. Let's do this. How would you like me to eat off my spoon? Side, front, back side? I've actually had this before at the Crown Grill on uh, other princess ships. And what I normally say is, it's very good. The broth is awesome. The onions are rendered beautifully, quite sweet. Uh, and But that I would prefer something like uh, a cheddar on top than blue cheese. They've gone a bit easier with the blue cheese on this one. So in my opinion, it actually works much better. Sometimes less is more. Right, next course has arrived. I'm having the goat's cheese, tomato and beets salad. Now the last time I ate here, although it was on board Regal Princess, I said the beets needed to be bigger. They were tiny little cubes. You know what? These are perfect. Shine bright like a beetroot. Shine bright like a beetroot. That's delicious. The ratio of beetroot to goat's cheese is much more successful than it was the previous time. I'm wondering if someone's watched that vlog and like they went easier on the um, blue cheese and now they've gone heavier on the beetroot. Don't listen to me, what do I know? <laughs> it's better though. Alrighty, I've got the New York strip for my main. It's come with some peppercorn sauce, different types of sea salt here. Himalayan pink mineral salt. Okay. Rock salt, anodized salt. Fabulous. Thank and you very much. And this is a rock salt covered in charcoal powder, Himalayan black wow. lava salt. Thank you very much. And because I'm not greedy, my darlings, I've just got two carbs here, <laughs> fries, uh, mash, and some wild mushrooms. Oh my God, this is so weird. But the last time I was here, I also said, I wasn't offered any sauces. I didn't realize they actually did sauces. This time they asked if I'd like some peppercorn and I'm like, hell yeah, what's going on? It's like the twilight zone, isn't it? 
everything is delicious, every single item. In fairness, that steak doesn't need a peppercorn sauce, nor does it need those salts, although the pink Himalayan salt has a delicious flavor. One of the others, too smoky for me, the black lava salt, very strong, delicious. The steak is winning on its own right though. There will be no dessert, of course there won't. Sorry, that was such an awesome meal. I had fabulous service as well. <sighs> I think I'm going to keel over now though. Quite right, a bit of fresh air for me. And um, we've just got some gentle rolling going on. Absolutely fine. I want to be the first to see the Northern Lights on this trip. Come on, you can do it, Jamie. Well, it's definitely getting chillier now. <laughs> gonna have to get that scarf and gloves soon. Well, according to my Find the Aurora app, <laughs> it's not called that. Um, there's only a 5% chance of seeing the Northern Lights in our current location. These people behind me, they're hardcore, they're professionals. I recommend downloading the My Aurora app and turning on notifications. Let me show you what I can see through my lens right now. Tonight's not the night. We need to go further north. Oh my darlings, I am so tired again. Uh, I don't think I've got the energy to tell anybody I love them or don't love them. I'm gonna try. All right, I love you today and you in the middle and you up there. Uh, I don't love you and I don't love you. Sorry about that. Let's do it all again tomorrow. Mwah. Good morning, everybody. It's our second sea day. It's 9.50. Yes, I've had a lion. And uh, current location. Current conditions from the bridge cam. Oh, there's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Mm -mm. I've literally just had coffee, banana, and a bread roll delivered. Princess Life Force. Right, here on Deck 15 Midship, we have coffee and cones for, guess what? Coffee and cones, as in ice cream. Oh, a glass of happiness, why not? And here's a look at the drinks on offer at coffee and cones. Where the hell is the iced goodness? Well, what a beautiful start to the day. We've actually just reached the southwestern point of Norway. Breathe in that air. Right, I've just checked the weather forecast. It's currently 11 degrees Celsius here. Uh, but out of the wind, in the sunshine, it's very pleasant indeed. And there's always, always an opportunity for an iced, iced latte. But a bum 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 ba da da lum bum. It's a good one. And I'm perching here to do some work, believe it or not. It's true. And when I'm done, I'm going to do a ship tour and a cabin tour for you. Oh, look, we've got blankets being handed out and we have people sunbathing. It's your cruise. You do what you want, my loves. Oh, it's so nicely sheltered here. It's beautiful. Movie playing. I've just had an announcement that there are whales in the area. I'm on the hunt. Yay, I just saw two whales and they were blowing water. Ah, oh, that was incredible. I didn't get it on camera for you. I'm sorry, I was in the moment. You understand that, don't you? Ah. <sighs> Right, I've been whale spotting, I've done a couple hours of work, and now lunch time. In the buffet today, I think. Right, we have the crafted salads section. Different types of meats as well. Pasta, curry, steamed rice, chicken stir fry, beef stir fry, vegetable stir fry. We have vegetable chow mein, vegetable fried rice, there's a pork stew, roasted pumpkin, two soups, vegetable soup and a chicken broth, a range of sandwiches, fresh fruits. We've got fresh fruit tarts, rum cake, cupcakes. There's a pastry counter with more cupcakes, more tartlets, carrot cakes, caramel tart, and I kid you not, this is called a chocolate moist cake. I love that word. Peach cobbler with vanilla sauce, more fresh salads, we have the carvery. 
make your own Caesar salad. Oh, look, little flower pots of lettuce. Help, yes. help, help, darlings. And this whole section here for vegetarian and vegan dishes. Good to see. Looks good. How are you? I am right, how are you? Oh, I've just spotted dal as well, my favorite thing ever. All right, look at this. They've got baba ganoush, beetroot hummus, normal hummus. Well, lunch with a view today. So I've gone with a big bowl of dal, some keema, steamed rice, uh, okra, masala, poppadom, and a chicken broth. Oh, the chicken broth is delicious. Very hearty and nice and peppery. Mmm, the dal is delicious. Very hearty and moorish. I could do with a little bit more chilli in it, having said that. I see you, Norway. Just a little movement at the moment. It would help rock you off to sleep. Don't you worry. It's always okay to get an afternoon snack from the Salty Dog Grill. It really is. <laughs> Chili cheese loaded fries. Yum. Oh, it's getting a little bit lumpy and a little bit pitchy. Just like me. Yes, I am your father. That's right. We're going to Skywalker's. <laughs> what a crap joke. But what a fabulous entrance. Oh, it's so camp, I love it. That'll do us nicely, thank you very much. Awesome views up here, love it. Got our usual nibbles. Cheeky espresso martini. Oh, we're moving around a little bit <laughs> the back and this high up. No spills, please. Oh, happy cruise days. Ah, it's my dad's song. Propping up the Good Spirits bar now. This is a tiny bar, but I like it. Oh, we got line dancing going on. I might have a go, you know. Walk it to your right. Clap. Move it on up. Moving on, on up, then we walk it to the left, then with your right foot, so here we go. I got Five, this, six, I got it. Left foot, move it on up, move it on up, then walk it to your left with your right foot, move it on back, move it on back. Shake it, shake it, shake it. Right, palm dining room for me. This is one of three main dining rooms. This one, you can reserve your table on the app. Alright, welcome to palm. Been promised a table for two, as in for me, lemon. I'm absolutely certain I'm not going to stand out like a sore thumb, am I, on this table for six? Just me. Lemon, 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 lemon. Right, let's check out this menu. I'm looking forward to me fresh bread basket. You know I love that. Start a soup and salad. Um, have one of each if you want, folks. The choice is yours. And you can have pasta as an appetizer or a main on board, which is fabulous. Talking of mains and your princess favorites, i.e. these are always available, although the curry does change from night to night. If you'd like to make your evening extra special, well, you can pay a surcharge and have one of these dishes. That's a no from me. I'm like one of those people who did have table mates who decided they hated me, so they weren't gonna come back, and that my date also didn't show up. <laughs> Having recently sailed on Cunard's Queen Anne, the newest ship in the fleet, which was crammed, uh, you can see there's lots of room around these tables. That's much better. Alrighty, I'm starting with a chicken tandoori. It smells amazing, by the way. Let's do this. Very tender, moist, very flavoursome, good pick of chili and some nice crunchy vegetables underneath. Whoops, and then I get to the gnarly bit. 
that's not so good. So the other two main dining rooms, one is called Island, uh, and that's like traditional dining. So you can reserve a table there at the same time every evening, either at 5 p.m. or 7.30 p.m. And the third dining room is called the Coral Dining Room. This is a walk-in venue, uh, which means you may be asked to wait for a table. Right, for my main, I've got the Cordon Bleu, which comes with mashed potato, vegetables, and gravy. Let's do this. Okay, that's definitely better quality chicken than my starter. I've just had a few mouthfuls to double check. No gnarly bits. Um, the coating is delicious. It's really crispy, golden fried. Nice depth of flavor to the gravy. Veggies are perfectly cooked, and um, there are even some potato straws. That's the winner. Well, I think I finally know why I felt so tired this week and red eyes, um, just very headachey and my asthma has flared up. And you will probably know I very rarely am ill. <laughs> I can only think of one occasion actually on a ship where I recorded a vlog and had just a standard cold. Early night for me, lots of water, a bit of paracetamol, I'll be right as rain in the morning, I promise you. And for goodness sake, we're in Trondheim tomorrow and I'm on a bike excursion, so I'm gonna be fit, healthy and ready for that. But bed for now, please forgive me, okay? Um, I'm just gonna say I love all of you tonight. I can't be hating on anyone. Oh, I don't love you. Good night, my darlings. Good morning, everybody. We are about three hours from Trondheim. There's somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Thank goodness for Princess Life Force and some health, 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 darlings. Oh, right. Updated cocktail glass. And I'm ready to head out and see what's happening. Well, it's definitely cooler today. Forecast to be eight degrees Celsius. Might need me scarf for this one, we'll see. But look how beautiful it is out. We made it after a few potholes in the ocean last night, which I know scared some of you out there. It wasn't that bad, honestly. We're here. Oh yes, welcome to Trondheim, everybody. And I'm not 100% today, but I am so much better than yesterday. I'm ready for Trondheim. Don't forget that on your Princess app, you'll be able to find out all sorts of information about your ports of call. And of course, the Princess Shore Excursion Scene will have a range of activities and tours for you. Just be aware that these can be very expensive. Some of the same tours are offered at a fraction of the price by companies such as Viator, Get Your Guide and local agencies. If you have the opportunity, it's always good to do a little bit of research in advance of your cruise. And a first full sight of Caribbean Princess since boarding a few days ago. And look at her basking in the glorious Norwegian sunshine. Oh, she's got a big ass, hasn't she, my darlings? On your bike, Jamie, mate. Let's hope the weather holds up. Forecast is for sunny spells and sprinkles. Please don't sprinkle on me. I actually did buy a raincoat and I totally forgot to pack it. I mean, I never ever travel with a coat, so whoops. My mum's gonna be so <laughs> with me. Just a five minute walk from the ship to collect our bikes. You know what I'm gonna call my bike, don't you? Petunia, bless her. Let's do this. Matthew would tell me off for this. Well, I'm actually on a bike tour with people who can't seem to ride a bike. How unique. Don't come on a bike tour if you can't ride a bike. That's my advice. So the 
part of Trondheim we're currently cycling is actually a man-made island. We're about to cross the bridge to leave the island. Here's said bridge. Over we go. Well, most of us. I was just about to say, this is not a very scenic bike tour. And here we are with scenes. Oh, shush now. Wow, this is stunning. Okay, he's leaving the best to last, definitely. An actual bicycle lift. <laughs> right leg stretched, my foot standing straight on that piston here. Here he goes. Oh. And we made it. Oh, the colors here, absolutely stunning. We have escaped the rain all day, which is awesome, but I think it's coming. Quickly, get me to a bar. For a point of reference, folks, the ship just being here, uh, the entrance into the uh, city center itself is just over here. And there's like this little zigzaggy bridge, easy. And I'm gonna take a shelter momentarily in this little souvenir shop right opposite the uh, cruise terminal. Oh, cute. Moose on the loose. Troll. Oh my goodness, straight to International Cafe for me. Uh, I think I might get a sandwich and of course a coffee. Escaped most of the rain, back on board, flat white for me. I need to warm up. Alrighty, let's talk about that princess excursion. I spent an eye-watering $160 on that three hour bike tour. Ouch. No doubt about it, if I had had time to research, um, let's say some of the trips on Viator or Get Your Guide, I probably would have gone with one of those instead. However, I totally ran out of time before this cruise. Um, I've literally gone from cruise to cruise to cruise over the last two or three months. So I was at the mercy of Princess on this occasion. Having said that, it was a fun tour. I feel like I've really done a lot of exercise today as well. I'm not sure how many kilometers we cycled. I wouldn't say it was a strenuous uh, excursion by any means. Probably describe it as moderate in terms of the level of activity. It would be helpful if you take an activity like, you know, a, a bike tour, that you can ride a bike quite comfortably. Uh, and on that note, not everybody could. I wonder as well, when we were divided into four different groups, whether or not there could have been a group for less confident cyclists, perhaps, just saying. I was given the honour of taking up the rear and... Uh, <laughs> I was, honestly, uh, that sounds terrible, doesn't it? No, I was asked to take up the rear and make sure everybody arrived at each checkpoint. I'm not joking. I was referred to as the man in black because I had my black tracksuit, my black um, hoodie. Uh, my glasses apparently look black, they're not, they're green. Hello, test your eyes. Um, so I was making sure everyone got to each checkpoint, which was a tiny bit frustrating when some of my group were not able to actually sit on a bike. However, I did my absolute best to explain gears and pedaling and so on. 
on and so forth. Look, you've seen the footage. I mean, I saw some absolutely stunning sights here in Trondheim. And um, on that note, I do recommend a bike tour. Just don't take up the rear. Uh, it might frustrate you, but I'm sure you can get much cheaper via Get Your Guide, etc. It's worth researching. It's time for a night out. I feel up to it. Bring it on. I should be wearing my Simpsons PJs down here, shouldn't I, in Krunas? Cheers from the Wheelhouse Bar. My first drink here is a nice bar, actually. Very classic and elegant. This is a sea breeze, which has Grey Goose vodka, a splash of grapefruit, a splash of cranberry, and oodles of ice. Very sour and refreshing. <laughs> Alrighty, I am booked into the palm for dinner tonight. Well, certainly more space between these tables than on Cunard Queen Anne. I have to stop saying that at some point, don't I? Alrighty, what to have tonight? Place your bets, folks. What do you reckon I'm gonna have? Oh, a giant meatball. Not any old meatball. And of course your favorites. The curry has changed tonight to a Indian style butter shrimp. Great service, hallelujah. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you very much. Awesome. That is my starter. <laughs> so I went with the um, spaghetti without the giant meatball for my starter. Why not? It is so good. That sauce is so sweet and salty and more. Mm, really nice. Oh, that spaghetti is perfectly al dente as well. Wild mushroom soup for me. That's very, very hearty indeed. A nice crack of black pepper and even a drizzle of jizz. I mean, creme fraiche, sorry. And my main course of roast beef, Yorkshire pudding, veggies, and some horseradish. Looks good. Woo. They are not shy with their portions on board, Princess. I am absolutely stuck. Very good meal in the main dining room. No weights, no lines, no attitude, no fuss. Just great service and very good food as it should be. Good Spirits delivers again. I just asked for the sourest cocktail they could possibly make me. I've got no idea what's in it, but the lovely lady has done an awesome job. It is so good. She's keeping the recipe secret, but she's gonna remember it for me tomorrow or in a minute when I have another one. Well, quite a low-key affair around the ship tonight, my darlings. Um, I managed to have a few drinks, having said that. Uh, lots of lovely chats with people. Brought another one back to me cabin. <laughs> what a lush. Now then, we are, of course, in search of the Northern Lights. I haven't forgotten. Here's how things work at night. I know you can't tell at the moment, but the TV is on the bridge cam channel. It's just dark out there and the volume is up. What that means is any broadcasts about sightings of the Northern Lights will come through my television in my cabin. Yes, it will wake me up, my darlings. I'm then gonna rush up on deck to see if I can um, spot them myself. How does that work with clothes, of course? I don't wear anything to bed. I literally have my Northern Lights attire ready on the other bed. So quick change and whoosh, up I go. Or at least that's the idea. We'll see if it works. I'm gonna say good night for now. I'll either see you in the morning uh, for our sea day as we head to Tromso or goodness knows, middle of the night maybe. Listen, I love you down there. I love you up there. I don't love you up there, you in the middle or you down there. That's three of you I don't love. Good night. Mwah. That may be the end of part one, but the best and worst is still to come. Coming up in part two, all of this. I'll see you very soon. Thank you for your support as we head towards how many subscribers, Matthew? Two. 33,000, Matthew. Today's shout outs go to my gorgeous Tears 3 for 
and five patrons. And oh my goodness gracious me, my darlings, yes, you too could become a patron. Just search patreon.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. And for your personalized video messages, just search cameo.com forward slash travel blog Jamie. It really is as easy as that. Don't forget we can follow each other on Facebook, Jamie W. Robbins, X Threads and Instagram at Travel Blog Jamie. And of course, right here, right now on YouTube. <laughs>